Hello fellow doctors and anesthesiologists. I am Dr. Anish Malik, an anesthesiologist from India. I have done my MBBS and my MD in anesthesiology from University College of Medical Sciences, Delhi. I cleared my EDAC part 1 in 2022 and EDAC part 2 in 2023. In this video, I am going to show you how much I scored in EDAC part 1 and part 2 and I am also going to tell you the strategy that you can follow to clear your EDAC in the first attempt. On the screen right now, you can see the result of EDAC part 1, which I gave in Amsterdam and Netherlands. You can see the score in part A, paper A, I have scored 88.67%. Paper A basically covers uh, the basic sciences, that is physiology, pharmacology, uh, physics and biostatistics. And in paper B, I have scored 81% and it includes general anesthesia, regional anesthesia, intensive care, pain, internal medicine and emergency medicine. So the pass score for this year's exam was 67.6% in paper A and 68.6% in paper B. And I have scored 88.67 in paper A and 81% in paper B. On the screen now is the result of my EDAC part 2. And uh, you can see that uh, it is not a real result. They have only told the scores of the morning and the afternoon session. The morning session is for basic sciences and I have scored 36 out of 40. In the afternoon session which was for clinical sciences I have scored 35 out of 40. So uh, the passing score uh, for this is 60 out of 80 and a minimum of 25 in each sessions. So if you are scoring 14 one, 20 in other, you will fail. You have to score 25 in both and your overall score should be more than 60. Now that we have talked about my scores, now let's discuss the strategy regarding EDAC part 1. I would suggest that you read Master Pass 1 and 2 and Podcast 1 and 2. But give more attention to master pass because it is more MCQ oriented. For practicing MCQs, you can use the book MTF 1000 and Cubase 4 and 6. I would suggest you solve only Cubase 4 and 6 because they have questions which are more relevant to EDAC. For part 2, you have to read podcast, master pass and you also have to solve the previous year questions that have been provided on various telegram groups. EDAC part 1 is a relatively easy exam because you only have to solve MCQs. But EDAC part 2 requires a very thorough knowledge of the subject. Here you have to give FIVA to 8 examiners who go into the depth of the subject. So you have to be very clear about your concepts and very thorough with your facts. So I would suggest that you read podcasts and master pass and solve all the previous year questions that are available. And also you need to be able to draw graphs for the basic sciences VIVAs in this exam. For learning the graphs, there is a book by the name of Plunkett, which is very good for basic sciences for EDAC. You can use that book. For clinical sciences, apart from anesthesiology, a lot of questions are asked from critical care and emergency medicine. And we Indian anesthetists are not well versed with these subjects. So I would suggest you to solve all the previous year questions from these topics and read these topics in very detail. That is all for this video. If you gained from the video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. And also share this channel and video with your other anesthesiology friends who might prepare for EDAC. Thank you.